Hey, what's up, everyone? How's everyone doing? It's me, Mr. Fork Upscaler. Uh, Death Stranding on PC. Uh, it's nothing short of uh, breathtaking, and uh, I'm recording this video at a highest possible bitrate in 4K 60. This is 4K 60 FPS. Um, yes, I'm using maximum settings. People say, but how could you achieve such a high quality on the maximum settings but that's because I'm using 80 megabits per second on my moonlight uh, and therefore I'm able to achieve such a great uh, low latency but that's because I have a pretty good internet okay but here this can give you some idea what's possible with a 2080 super and Ryzen 9 12 cores processor you know having uh, that Ryzen 9 12 cores processor really helps on top of the 2080 super and also having a um, 24 gigabytes of Corsair vengeance memory high-speed memory uh, DDR4 RAM helps as well on top of obviously uh, solid state drive and Asus Prime uh, motherboard so it's a it's a high-end PC now it, uh, the question I've been getting uh, lately has been am I going to see like a drastic difference between this and uh, PlayStation 4 Pro version and the simple answer is yes uh, but in order for you to see that difference, you really have to uh, see this for yourself uh, in 4K, and that's why I'm recording this in 4K, is uh, PlayStation 5 is going to be able to bring something better than this? I don't know. I don't think PlayStation 5 really is going to go any further than what I'm getting here, okay? Maybe we should go switch to a uh, first-person mode a little bit, just kind of to show you. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Give you a little bit of a uh, perspective here. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, I'm not really that, like, super excited about PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, uh, because uh, they're not doing anything that I haven't already experienced. Uh, I don't see any super, super exclusives coming out anytime soon. Uh, some new IPs, I'm not seeing anything new or anything innovative, so... Um, God of War, God of War, okay. It's a God of War game. Spider-Man, it's a Spider-Man game. Keep it up. Um, Keep it up. But I'm not seeing anything like super new IP innovative type of uh, exclusives like we did with uh, PlayStation 2, you know. So I'm really, I don't know what's the whole big deal. Um, Technology that PlayStation 5 it's using, technology that the Xbox Series X it's using, it's a technology that's been available for for years through RTX cards, like deep learning super sampling, which I'm using right now here. It's available. I'm, I'm already using it. Uh, image sharpening, it's already being used by AMD on their 5700 XT graphics cards. Uh, uh, Real-time ray tracing. Uh, I've seen it since yeah. Battlefield 5. Uh, I experienced it on Mafia 1. I experienced it on Watch Dogs. Uh, it's nice to have it, but, you know, it's not like a... It's not like something that, oh, gee whiz, if I don't have that on, like, oh, I'm... Like, good lord. I cannot experience this game without that, you know, real-time ray tracing. So, um, 
I'm speaking this subjectively from my own point of view, and I know you guys probably not going to like what I have to say here because I know some of you love your brands, and listen, man, you want to love your brand, I let's love your brand all day long, I, I don't care. But I'm simply saying that the consoles are always behind the curve. And the PC, it's always ahead of the curve. Uh, so technology on the PC, it's always going to be ahead of the curve. Uh, look at the 3080, 3000 series, and what NVIDIA is doing with 3000 series. Look at AMD's uh, 6000 series, and what AMD is doing with 6000 series. I mean, 46 teraflop, for, for crying out loud. And God knows how many CUDA cores. I don't have all the specs. It, 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 the memory that they're using, it's just ridiculous. Um, so having said that, I'm not like really all that super, super excited about, uh, unless there was Gran Turismo 7, I'll tell you what, you know, if Gran Turismo 7 was being released in November 12th, then I would be really upset that I don't have a PlayStation 5, I would be like, oh my god, I'm missing out, you know, I would be super upset. But there's, there's really nothing out there that I can't play on my PC. Um, people talk about a God of War. God of War is coming out to PC. Uh, Spider-Man's coming out to PC. This game was released on PlayStation 5, or PlayStation 4 last year. Last year, November. And here I am playing it on a PC. Uh, today I'm going to be doing Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn was a PlayStation 4 exclusive. And now it's on PC. So, you know, Detroit Become Human, it's also available as well. So, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not really super stoked about uh, these new consoles. I know you guys are, and that's fine and dandy. Maybe it's just me because I'm so used to PC and, and playing these games. Uh, because I experienced 2080. I mean, I did the first unboxing of 2080 and 2070 uh, when it first came out. What was it, 20, 2018 or I forgot what year? But anyway, I, I, I've been I've been using it. Um, or was it 2017? I forgot. Either way, um, I have three different PCs. Uh, all of these technologies, graphics. Maybe for you it's a new thing. Listen, if you are somebody who uh, always been using PlayStation 4 Pro and haven't tried anything, have never tried PC, and you know you've been just accustomed to using that PlayStation 4 graphics, maybe for you this will be uh, obviously a step up. But for the rest of us who already like me. And I'm speaking sub sub subjectively here. I'm, I'm being subjective from my own personal experience. For me, it's not a big deal. Maybe for you it is. Uh, but for me personally, it's not. You know. So I hope that this video gives you some idea just like uh, how awesome this looks. And I don't know if you're going to get anything better on your PlayStation 5. If it's going to look anything better than what I'm uh, experiencing here. Quite honestly, I don't know. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, it's just great. That's just great. We don't want to rain. But anyway, let me show you uh, basically if I can uh, what I'm using here. Let me show you my graphics settings. Okay. Display resolution, it's 4K. V-Sync, it's turned on. Frame rate, it's 60. Uh, graphics quality, it's set to very high. High. Uh, shadows and reflection, 4 gigabytes are being used. Shadow resolution, high. Ambient inclusion, on. Space, screen, reflections, turned on. NVIDIA DLSS. 
uh, it's set to quality, it's used to achieve the best possible frame rate while keeping the graphic settings at their highest level. So we using that. Uh, this feature it's used by AMD, Fi Fidelity, FX, depth of field its own, motion blur its own, so you know that everything's set to maximum here. And uh, it looks great, you know, it looks great. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy this video for what it is. Uh, please do wait for it to uh, finish processing. Uh, once it's finished processing, then you'll be able to enjoy uh, the accolades of it, which is 4K resolution and all the goodies. I would suggest highly that you watch this on your 4K television or your 4K monitor uh, if you have it. Okay, so, well, there you have it. That's the video. Let me know what you think. But please be respectful. As you know, I really don't tolerate fanboyism. Uh, if you like your brand, fine. Enjoy your brand. But I don't need to listen to you uh, jawjacking and typing down on the comment section how much you enjoy your brand, okay? I don't, I don't need to listen to that. I reserve the right on this channel not to listen to that nonsense. If you want to join some fanboy channel, there's plenty of fanboy channels you can join out there. Be my guest. But me, I don't tolerate that here. If you are a true gamer, or if you got something that you want to say that's uh, logical or debatable, fine. But if you don't, I'm not interested in, in, in fanboyism, okay? All right, so having said that, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Cheers. At 2 o'clock p.m. I have the live stream today.